San Antonio police are starting the day looking for a shooter. Good morning, I'm Katrina Weber. It happened at this motel just steps away from a local military base. I'll have that story. And it's a big day in Iowa as Democratic candidates get ready for the official start of the 2020 presidential nominating season. And a live look outside with live cam. A couple of nice warm days and then bam, old man winter's going to be busting down the door. Michael Sage has that for you. Coming up. Live from Case at 12, Good Morning San Antonio starts right now. And good morning. It is Super Bowl Hangover Monday, February 3rd. <laughs> How's everyone feeling this morning? <laughs> Ooh, well, you're all fired up. I'm fired. I, well, I, just, I just went back, chugged some energy drink. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Now yeah, I'm like, well, oh, that's too much. <laughs> I think the recommendation is more than your usual number of cups of coffee this that, morning. Isn't it? That did kick in pretty quickly on you. I did. That. I just, you know, a couple of sips and <laughs> boom, I'm fired. good. Yeah, uh, great game. Lived up the expectations, yeah. I think. So, yeah. congratulations. Texas Tech's quarterback. Exactly. Patrick Mahomes is now a Super Bowl champion. Gotta gun, love that. Gun, guns up for, uh, yeah. for Mahomes, right? Yeah. Anyway. Hey, uh, get ready. We've got some big changes coming this week. We were talking about this last week with a strong front moving on through here, and it's going to be a doozy, and that'll be in the next couple of days. This morning, though, it's very mild out there. Obviously, visibility is good. We have temperatures that are really, really mild. I mean, once again, we had a just about perfect weekend. It was so nice. Beautiful blue skies yesterday, nice warm temperatures, and we're starting off very warm because the clouds obviously moved on in here. We've got a lot more humidity. That's helping to hold these temperatures up. Uh, mold and mountain cedar from yesterday's reading, as well as ash on the low side. It's going to be interesting to see what mountain cedar does in the next couple of days with that strong front moving on through here. Temperatures are going to remain basically steady throughout the next uh, couple of hours, and then we'll start to make it up into the uh, 60s by noon, mid to upper 60s, as a matter of fact. Going to keep a lot of clouds around here and the wind is still going to be out of the south so that's going to help to pump in more and more humidity and you'll definitely notice the humidity by even later on this afternoon make it up to 72 degrees and there is a chance for a couple of showers late uh, later on this afternoon very few and far between at best tomorrow is going to be even warmer we're going to be looking at 80 for a lot of folks and then the bottom does drop out how long will that last plus things may get a little bit interesting especially in northern parts of the hill country details on that coming up in just a couple of minutes time saver traffic right now officer marcus trujillo and it's kind of like a holiday oh you got one accident right now we do have one accident this one's being reported as a major accident uh, a rollover so we're going to zoom into the northbound main lanes of 410 north North of Highway 90, as you're approaching Marbach Road, you have that Marbach Road exit, and that's where this accident is located. Northbound 410 at the Marbach Road exit for a rollover accident. Now, take a look at some other areas right now. 1604 Caleb Road, you can see traffic starting to build on that exit ramp for eastbound Highway 151. However, despite the accident and this little bit of congestion, currently no delays in anyone's travel times. Sarah? Thank you, Marcus. Well, new this morning, San Antonio police say a robbery may have been the motive behind a shooting on the west side overnight. It happened at a motel just outside the gates of Joint Base San Antonio Lackland. Our Katrina Weber is live in the 100 block of Valley High with that story. Katrina, did this have any impact on the base at all? Not as far as we know, and it definitely does not appear so. Now, it looks like business as usual here for a busy Monday morning. This is where the shooting happened here at the Oil Hotel. It also looks like it's back to business. But that was not the case around 2 o'clock this morning when there was a police investigation going on. They say they found out a man had been shot here. He suffered wounds to his shoulder, side, and wrist, as well as some type of a head injury. He was taken to a hospital by ambulance, and police say he was stable at that time. Although they did not find the shooter here, it seems that they do know who that person was. Now, as recently as about an hour ago, there was still a couple of police officers here. They appeared to be working in the back of the building, but then they quickly wrapped up what they were doing and left the scene. And it seems that they did leave without making any arrests. Reporting live on the West Side, Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News. Thank you, Katrina. A couple and their two pets in good condition this morning after they had to escape a fire in their home. It happened in the 600 block of Larkwood Drive around 1030 last night, and we're told the couple was using their fireplace. They had too many logs on the fire, and firefighters say that fire ended up getting into the attic. They were able to knock it down quickly once they got there. Most of the damage in the house is from smoke. No one was hurt. The family of a man who was hit and killed while walking along Highway 281 this weekend is desperate for justice after the driver responsible 
ran away. 23-year-old Alberto Flores is described by loved ones as hardworking, responsible, and loving. San Antonio police say the driver hit him around 2.30 in the morning, hit another vehicle and a guardrail before taking off on foot. Loved ones say they are devastated. It's heartbreaking to know that he would never live out his dreams that we all do in life. I think he would probably say life is short, so just live every day as much as you can, but at the same time, be responsible. Right now, San Antonio police are still searching for the suspect involved. If you have any information, you are urged to call authorities immediately. Democrats stumping in Iowa as first in the nation voting begins. Tonight kicks off the 2020 presidential nominating season. Several of the presidential candidates raced back to the Hawkeye State this weekend to campaign. Senators Warren, Sanders, Klobuchar, and Bennett were kept in Washington, D.C. last week for President Trump's impeachment trial. The candidates are trying to fire up voters and make a last-minute appeal to people struggling to make a final decision about who to support in the crowded field. President Donald Trump is set to give his State of the Union address tomorrow night in the Capitol, where his impeachment trial is still underway. He's expected to declare the state of the Union as strong, even though it's bitterly divided, as he asks, Ameri asks Americans for a second term. President Trump has become just the third president in U.S. history to be impeached, but he's expected to be acquitted in his Senate trial on Wednesday. In a preview, the president told reporters that he's looking at giving a very very positive message. Meanwhile, it's day, it's the day after the Super Bowl and the impeachment of President Trump continues heading into the fourth quarter. As CNN's John Lorenk reports, closing arguments will be delivered today by House managers and President Trump's defense team. President Trump's ongoing saga about his dealings with Ukraine is coming to an end. On Wednesday, the Senate will vote on whether to convict him and remove him from office. I will never buy into the fact that people will do something that's politi politically expedient. And I certainly hope that our Democratic senators uphold the Constitution and protect our country. A vote for acquittal is a near certainty. The Republicans have a majority in the Senate, and some Democrats might join them as well. The one I'm watching, frankly, is Doug Jones. He's on the ballot. Um, you know, he has a small chance for re-election in Alabama and probably not a large chance, but whatever number that is drops to zero or less than zero if he votes to convict the president. Although President Trump says his call with Ukrainian President Zelensky was perfect, some supporters concede it could have been handled better. Generally speaking, going after corruption would be the right thing to do. No, he, did it, he did it maybe in the wrong manner. Critics say now the president will face another jury on Election Day 2020. We get to send a message at the ballot box that cheating, lying, involving a foreign country in our own domestic politics, not to mention uh, abuse of power more broadly and bad administration, that that's not okay, that we can do better. I'm John Lawrence reporting. This morning, KSAT announcing a partnership that will certainly get the attention of local politicians and policymakers. We hope it also grabs your attention and provides a way to have your voice heard. What are the most important issues to Bear County citizens? Do they think their elected officials are doing a good job? What do they think about the companies that provide our power, our water, our mass transportation? As of 10.03 this morning, we are asking those questions in a scientific way, something that hasn't been done publicly in Bear County in at least 20 years. Today, we announced the KSAT Rivard Report Bear Facts Poll. KSAT's own Steve Spreeser making the announcement in part of an interview he conducted with the people that are helping put the poll together. The hope is this will give a great insight into what are the most important issues facing Bear County and how voters feel about elected officials like Mayor Ron Nurnberg and Bear County Sheriff Javier Salazar. It's also hoped that this partnership with the Rivard Report and Bear Facts may lead to people becoming more engaged in the process in their and letting their local governments know what they really think. And coming up on GMSA at 9, Steve Robert Rivard from the Rivard Report and Christian Archer from Bear Facts will be live guests to talk about the new polling and when we can see the results. Much more information in Steve's interview with the people behind the poll are on KSAT.com right now. Well, here are some of the top stories trending right now on KSAT.com. The San Antonio Riverwalk is poised to get a dreamy new hotel in 2023. That's according to the Dream Hotel Group. The 217-room hotel is expected to have multiple dining and nightlife venues, a rooftop pool, and a 10,000-square-foot meeting space. 
The boutique hotel will have a, will be the centerpiece of a large mixed-use development that includes office space and private residences. And a new bakery is opening up here in San Antonio in just a couple of weeks, and it's offering dollar cinnamon rolls on Valentine's Day. Cineholic will open Friday, February 14th at 10 a.m. Customers are urged to arrive early to its grand opening for the dollar cinnamon rolls, which will be served from 10 to 2. We have more info right now on KSAT.com. Probably use a shot of that sugar this morning after big night football. Definitely need it. Fun and commercials. Ooh. 610, 58 degrees.